All right, we're recording this time. So in this episode of Gav Details, we're going to be uh, shortening the power cord on the Ryobi pressure washer. Uh, disclaimer, if you're not comfortable working with uh, electric or wiring, or if you haven't done it before, perhaps ask a friend that has done it before or is more comfortable. Uh, this is where I'm going to remove all liability from Tim and myself if anything happens. So obviously you don't have to unplug the machine before doing it because you're working on the plug so it'll be unplugged. So there's safety number one. Number two, there are four screws that hold this cover in here. Uh, we wound up using a flathead versus a Phillips. So we already have it marked here with the tie for our length and uh, this cover just pops right off. And then there are two wires. This uh, grommet kind of holds the wires in place with these two screws. And then the wires are loomed over these two screws. So as you can see, this plug is not grounded. And uh, we'll let Tim take it from there. Okay. So what we've got in here, two, black, two wires, black and white. The black wire goes to the brass terminal. The white wire goes to the silver terminal. You want to make sure you don't mix those two up. So all you need to do is loosen these two terminal screws, get your wires free, and then loosen the retainer here that holds the grommet in place. Once you've got those loose, this will all pull apart. You'll see on the wires that there's crimped ends. We're not going to reuse those. We're just going to strip the wires back and put them right back into the terminal block. You want to make sure that those wires get sandwiched in between these two plates on either side. Once you got the wire in there, you tighten the screw down and it'll be held in place. So as you can see, there are uh, two metal contacts top and bottom and then you can see the screw thread in between. So we're going to go ahead and get this removed and cut our cable to length. All right, so uh, it has been cut to length, and uh, as this is a do-it-yourself video, uh, we're not going to incorporate any type of specialty tools, wire cutters or strippers or anything like that. We're just going to use, unless this is a wire cutter. Side cutter. This is a side cutter. So this is this and an needle's plier. So you just need to strip back some of the insulation about an inch and a half just to give you something to work with. As you're cutting the outer insulation, you want to be careful not to cut through the wire insulation on the inside. There's only two wires in this, so. Once you get through, you're going to end up with the same thing we had before, a black wire, a Y wire, and some pieces of insulation. Those can just be cut back to get them out of your way. Then we're going to take this grommet. This it did just slide off of the cable. It was pretty tight, but it, there's nothing that holds it on. It just It's just friction fit. So you can slide this back on. You want to make sure the tapered end faces the pressure washer so it's going in this direction. Once you've got that in place, you can strip back about a quarter inch of insulation off of both wires, twist it together just to keep it nice and uniform. And once you've got that done, you're ready to put it back together. Again, the black wire went on the brass terminal. So you want to take your stripped end, just the stripped end, just the, just the copper. You don't want to put the plastic insulation underneath the terminal. Otherwise, you can end up with a bad or a loose connection. So that's going to go right in there. Tighten it as good as you can. Do the same thing with the white wire on the silver terminal. Once you've got them both tight, just kind of move it around, make sure that they're in there well. 
Then you want to reseat this grommet. There is a gasket here that we didn't point out earlier to make this waterproof. Make sure it doesn't bunch up when you put it back together. It's a very thin gasket. Goes around the outside of the plug casing. Would you prefer a Phillips? No. Nah. Thank you. Yes, it's a little tricky. So as you can see, we're, we're doing all of this in real time, so you can kind of get an idea for how long it's going to take. It was raining this morning, but now the sun's kind of coming out, so nothing better to do on a day where you're not going to be washing than to make small modifications to your washing equipment. You want to tighten this retainer down kind of evenly. This holds the cord in the plug so that if there's any pulling on the cord, it doesn't rip out of the the terminals that we just tightened up above. And once you got that done, you're essentially you're ready to put this cover back on right. and your four screws. Once you tighten the four screws back down, plug it in, test the GFI, make sure that it still resets and trips properly and you should be good to go. Okay, so now is the uh the big unreal un unveiling unveiling that's what I'm looking for yeah all right so we're gonna plug this back into our outlet green light comes on we're just gonna do a test and a reset just to make sure that it does trip tested and reset and then if you go over to your pressure washer you got a green light on there so it's got the power <laughs> pressure washer runs you're good to go all right for those of you that have been waiting for this video here it is, uh, and that's it. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and for more detailing and how-to videos with Tim, please hit the subscribe button. Thanks.